Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3 on the fourth generation iPod Touch, the iPhone 4, as well as the iPhone 3GS. Unfortunately, this does not work on the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, the iPad 2, the third generation iPad, the fourth generation iPad, the iPad mini, or the fifth generation iPod Touch. And yes, for those of you who will inevitably ask, I did already make an iOS 6.1.3 jailbreak tutorial, however, I'm remaking it in this video simply because I wanted to answer some commonly asked questions and I'm also going to be filming this video using Google Glass. So right now I'm actually using my camera but I will switch to glass here in a second to record the remainder of this tutorial. Now for those of you who don't know I was accepted into the Google Glass Explorer program and I recently was able to pick up my Explorer edition of Google Glass and in my application for Google Glass I said I would create a jailbreak video using glass. So that's exactly what I'm going to do and again I'm going to answer some more of your questions but before we do that again I wanted to stress that this jailbreak tutorial only works on the fourth generation iPod touch the iPhone 4 as well as the iPhone 3GS if you have a newer device on iOS 6 through 6.1.2 you can jailbreak using evasion however again if you did upgrade to iOS 6.1.3 or even 6.1.4 in the case of the iPhone 5 you will not be able to jailbreak unless you have an iPhone 4 iPhone 3GS or fourth generation iPod touch and in a little bit I'll go over why. Also, before we get into this, I just wanted to stress that this is a tethered jailbreak tutorial, which means that you will have to plug your device into your computer via your USB cable and rerun a certain part of Red Snow every time you need to reboot your device. Now, you can turn your tethered jailbreak into a semi-tethered or a semi-untethered jailbreak afterwards to reboot it with limited functionality, and again, I'll go over that more towards the end of this video. All right, now that all of that's out of the way, I'm going to switch to glass here and I'll be right back. All right, hey guys, I am back and I am recording with Glass right now. So I wanted to preface by saying that sorry if this video shakes a little bit because again, Glass is somewhat finicky. So let's go ahead and do this. Again, I just wanted to bring you guys this tutorial through Google Glass. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is the latest version of Red Snow as well as your iOS 6.0 IPSW. And that is because we're going to trick Red Snow into thinking that we're using 6.0 when in reality we're actually on 6.1.3. So really quick, I'm going to take this time to show you guys that my iPod Touch is on 6.1.3 by going inside of Settings, General About, and down below at the bottom for the version you can see that again I am on 6.1.3. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and launch Red Snow. I also just wanted to mention that if you are on Windows, what you're going to need to do is right click Red Snow, set compatibility mode to Windows XP, Service Pack 2, and then run it as an administrator. Now, all of that will be down below in the more info. I'll have a link to a post on my website that contains full written instructions, as well as download links to Red Snow and 6.0. All right, so now that all of that's out of the way, you can go ahead and plug your device into your computer right now and you will notice that down below for Red Snow it does say connected 6.1.3 so you do know that my fourth generation iPod Touch is indeed on iOS 6.1.3. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and click Extras, and then from here we're going to go to Select IPSW, and then Browse for your iOS 6.0 IPSW, and then click Open. And now that it's successfully identified the IPSW, we can click OK to this pop-up, and we're going to go back, and then we're going to click Jailbreak. And now it will prepare the jailbreak data. Once that's done, we're just going to have to enter DFU mode after we pass this screen. So again, on the fourth generation iPod Touch here, I'm just going to select Install Cydia and Enable Battery Percentage. Now you can choose to enable that if you want it on your iPod Touch, you don't have to though. And now from here, I'm going to click Next and it's just going to tell me to both plug in and power off my device and it's preparing to enter into DFU mode or it's preparing to tell you how to enter into DFU mode. However, we can do that ahead of time. Just hold down the Home and Power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Now, once that 10 seconds is up, just go ahead and let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. Now, once you're inside of DFU mode, it will automatically bypass that screen inside of Red Snow and it will continue through the jailbreak process. As you can see now, we're just waiting for the device to reboot and it's uploading some of the jailbreak data as we speak. So let's just go ahead and wait for this. Remember that DFU mode is just a black screen, so you won't see anything until it gets to this point. And now the iPod Touch is just rebooting and it's going to 
to go through its standard process. So I'm not going to cut anything out of this video and I'm just going to let it play through so you guys can see approximately how long it should take. Again, it may vary depending on your device, depending on what you have on your device, and also depending on your computer. So again, I'm just going to let this video play through. So again, the reason why iOS 6.1.3 cannot be jailbroken on newer devices is because Red Snow utilizes what's known as a LimeRain exploit. And the LimeRain exploit was discovered in 2010 by GeoHot. It's a boot ROM exploit or a boot ROM vulnerability that simply cannot be patched by Apple unless they release new hardware, which obviously they've done, but that's why you can still jailbreak these older devices because again, that exploit is still present in these devices boot ROM, so you can jailbreak break them using red snow, which is what I'm doing right now. And actually, as I'm at this point, it says moving applications. This is the longest process of the jailbreak, so just be sure to wait for that. Definitely don't mess with your device, so don't interact with the power button or the home button. Just let everything play through and it will proceed properly. But anyway, for those of you who are wondering, that's why the older devices can jailbreak, while the newer devices unfortunately cannot because that LimeRain exploit was patched with the release of those newer devices. All right, here we go, it did bypass moving applications and now it's at installing bundles. So now your device should reboot shortly and we will proceed with the tutorial once the iPod Touch fourth generation does fully come back up. So let's go ahead and wait for it to reboot. And while we're doing that, let's actually close out of Red Snow and this just helps to refresh everything. So now that Red Snow is closed, we can go ahead and reopen it at this point. All right, here we go. The iPod Touch is back up. I'm going to slide to unlock here. It will take a second because it's not the most responsive iPod around. But now what we're going to do is come back to the computer here and we need to finish the process. So we have to boot tethered in order to get Cydia. So let's go ahead and go inside of extras in Red Snow once we've closed out of it and then reopened it. And we're going to go ahead and select IPSW again and we're going to point it to the iOS 6.0 IPSW. Again, not 6.1.3. And once it's identified 
identified it, we're going to go ahead and click OK to that. And then we're going to select the top option, which is just boot. And now you get that same screen that you received before. So just make sure that your device is plugged in and powered off. However, we can enter DFU mode ahead of time by holding down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Now, once that 10 seconds is up, we can go ahead and let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. And once we're inside of DFU mode, it will automatically bypass this screen inside of Red Snow, and it will continue through the process to exploit the iPod Touch to bring it back up into its jailbroken state. So let's go ahead and wait for it to reboot. Also, during this time, I just wanted to mention that once your device powers off or once you actually have to reboot your device, then you will need to come back inside of Red Snow and redo this last bit every time. So where you have to select the iOS 6.0 IPSW and then you have to boot tethered. And again, that is because this is a tethered jailbreak. I will show you guys how to install what's known as a semi-tethered or a semi-untethered jailbreak that will allow you to reboot it with very limited functionality. However, again, if you want to regain full functionality, you'll have to do that last part every single time your device reboots, whether that's because it dies or because you just had to reboot it. You will have to follow that part of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and unlock it. And you will notice that I do have Cydia now. So I'm going to launch Cydia and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and show you guys that again, I am on 6.1.3. So I'm just going to cancel out of the update here and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and down below here, it does say iPod Touch 4G iOS 6.1.3, Cydia 1.1.8. So again, you do know that I am on a fourth generation iPod Touch on iOS 6.1.3. So now at this time, I'm going to show you guys how to install what's known as a semi-tethered or semi-untethered jailbreak. Go to manage at the bottom and then go to sources, edit, add, and we're gonna go ahead and add this source, the big boss dot org forward slash semi that's s-e-m-i tether t-e-t-h-e-r and once we have that we're going to go ahead and hit add and it's just going to grab the source and all of the packages and again we're really only interested in the main package here but it's also going to refresh some of your other sources so let's just go ahead and wait for this and once it's done i'm going to go ahead and install the semi tether package and we're going to reboot and i'll show you exactly what i mean All right, here we go. I can go ahead and tap on return to Cydia here. And once we're inside of that bigboss.org source, I'm going to install semi tether. So just tap on install in the top right and then also confirm. And from here, it will just install the necessary packages. And now at this time, it's asking you to restart your springboard. Again, I'm just going to do that first and then we're going to reboot. So let's wait for that to finish and let's wait for the iPod to come back up here. And now that that's done, again, I'm going to reboot. So this is just a typical reboot. I'm also going to unplug from the computer so you know that I'm not running Red Snow to boot it back up. So let's go ahead and wait for it to turn off here. And now that it's off, I'm going to power it back up and we're just going to wait for it to come back on. All right, there we go. The iPod Touch is back up now. And you will notice that when I try to open up Cydia this time, it actually won't work. And the same thing goes for Safari. It will just instantly crash. 
So there we go, there's the crash, and now Cydia, when I try to open it up, it will crash. That's because now we have to plug the device into the computer again and rerun that part of Red Snow after selecting the iOS 6.0 IPSW. Again, keep that in mind, that is crucial, and that is because this is a semi-tethered or a semi-untethered jailbreak, so you will have to plug it back in to regain full functionality. So again, I hope you guys like this video. I just wanted to make it for you guys through Google Glass, so just be sure to let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section, and don't forget it's not too late to enter into my $100 and $50 Amazon gift cards giveaway. Just be sure to rate this video up, and again, leave a relevant comment in the comment section. Once your comment's posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And to be updated every time I post new videos related to jailbreaking, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.